Hey guys, it's Lucy here, and today I shall be giving you my Thrillerathon TBR. I participated in Thrillerathon a few rounds back. I think it was like the first round that I participated in. And every time I came around, I was either doing something else or I just wasn't in the mood for thrillers. But right now, I have like no reading plans for February. So here I am trying to make more concrete plans. If you have not heard, of Thrillerathon. It is a just over a week long readathon that is for thrillers. You can do like all kinds of different like basically like mystery type books. You can do cozy mysteries, you can do regular mysteries, you can do actual thrillers. Uh, it's up to you. I will link the announcement video down below. This readathon is hosted by Harriet over on her channel. Again, I'll link her video down below. This round is taking place from February 15th to February 23rd. So I'm just excited to be participating again this round and have a TBR that is ambitious, but I'm hoping that my reading is much better in February than it's been in January. So there is like a thriller-a-thon like Cluedo board thing. I'll put it over here. I am trying to hopefully complete all of the prompts and I am doubling up on challenges because there's no way I'm reading nine books in that time period. So for the first prompt, which is Dr. Peacock, which is the oldest thriller on my TBR. This is the book that I've had on Goodreads the longest. There might have been other thrillers that I had on my radar longer, but I didn't add them to Goodreads, so this is what's gonna count. And that is Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel. Um, this is a YA thriller. And yeah, I wanted to read it when it came out and I'm just not getting around to it. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to finish this because it's like, I think just under like 300 pages or around 300 pages. And it's also YA, which can go quicker for me. If I'm weird about holding books, it's cause this is the hand that I broke. And normally I hold them up with my left hand. The next one, which is Sergeant Mustard, which is the book with the creepiest cover. That is um, The Body Lies by Joe Baker. I hadn't heard of this and then I believe I heard Olive over at a book Olive talk about it and she gave it very high ratings and again this is another short book so that's good for me. I don't know something weird about it and like the whole thing just like I saw the spine and I was like ill. <laughs> <laughs> for Professor Scarlet, which is the shortest thriller on your TBR, I'm going with The Wives by Taryn Fisher. The reason I'm picking this is because I've been wanting to get to it and I have access to the audiobook through Hoopla, so that's why. Also count for the next prompt, which is The Library, a new to you author. I've never read anything by Taryn Fisher. A lot of these books can count as that. The next prompt is The Kitchen, which is a trope you love and this is a book I've been wanting to get to because I love this series. And that is A Treacherous Curse by Deanna Rayborn. And um, this has the trope of a slow burn romance. And wow, I didn't know that I really loved it until like I read it and then I was like, I love this. I just absolutely love this series. It's so, so, so fun. It's the type of series that once I pick them up, I don't wanna put them down. So I figured it was a great book to read for a readathon and I'm so excited to read more. This is the third book in the Victoria, Victoria, Veronica Speedwell series. The next one is The Study, which is a recommended thriller and no one personally recommended this to me, but I recently saw Sylvia over at Wish Fulfillment. I think it was, I was catching up on her videos and it was from her, one of her books that like, one of her videos where it was like the books that she enjoyed in 2019. I read the previous book by this author and I really, really enjoyed it. So I was like, ooh, if Sylvia enjoyed it, then like, I'm gonna give it a shot. That is Someone We Know by Sherry La Pena. Um, this is a newer book. I think it just came out last year and I've been wanting to read more by this author. So I am very excited to get to this. The next prompt is Candlestick. The newest thriller on your TBR. And again, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. And I'm gonna go with someone we know. It's newer. It's like within the first three. Um, and it's the one that I wanted to pick for this prompt. I couldn't find a lot of books that fit multiple prompts. So we're doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. Next prompt is Dagger, which is an author you've read before. 
And for that, I'm going with A Treacherous Curse by Deanna Rayborn, because obviously this is the third book in the series. The very last prompt is to read the group book, which is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Um, I don't have a copy of this right now. I just put it on hold at my library. It should come in soon, but I wanted to get this video filmed. That is my TBR for Thrillerathon. I'm hoping I can vlog it. That would be great. I'm really, really, really excited to get back into a readathon. Um, I haven't done one in a minute and I just really want to do one again. I'm slowly but surely trying to weasel my way back into the booktube community and commenting on people's videos and watching people's videos. I'm still very overwhelmed at the moment. I have physical therapy three times a week. I have to do at-home exercises. You would think it's not a big deal. It's a very big deal. It's very um, exhausting because you have to kind of put yourself through pain to get better and it's just been unlike anything I've had to go through. So um, yeah, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. Let me know down below if you are planning on participating in Thrillerathon. I would love to know. Let me know if you've read any of these books. I would also love to know. And that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.